Hello guys and welcome back to another video. I'm True American Patriot and in this video we're going to be talking discussing how Donald Trump continues to surge in the state of New York. Before we get into the video, please subscribe to the channel and comment down below on what other videos you'd like to see next. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So currently, President Biden's approval rating in the state of New York is negative 11. He sits at a 39% approval rating in the state of New York. And that's a pretty big problem. As the national average is around 37 to 40%. And But is re what is really concerning is this poll right here. President Biden is only up 7 points in the state of New York. Donald Trump sits at 41% and there's 11.5% of people undecided and Biden's only at 47.6%. As compared that to the 2020 election results, Biden had 60.7% and Trump only had 377 Trump's margin is increasing a little bit, but it's really Biden's margin that is really falling to the bottom. He's down 13%. So he's Biden's really losing a lot of support among voters. And it's going to be very interesting to see if that 13% is either going to not vote, vote for possibly Robert F. Kennedy Jr., or maybe vote for Donald Trump. Or well, stick with their gut with Joe Biden. But this is a state that Joe Biden won four years ago by more than, by almost two million votes. Mainly because of the New York City area. The New York City area super de is the most democratic part of the state. The Bronx, Donald Trump just had a rally in the Bronx. 30,000 people showed up to that rally. He only got 67,000. So that means half the people that voted for him showed up. We're going to see a big change in New York City. I'm expecting Donald Trump to do very well in Suffolk. He barely won Suffolk. Lost Nassau by 10. Lost Queens by almost 50. Lost Brooklyn by 55. Lost Manhattan by 70. Like, this is New York City we're talking about. The only borough that's right is Staten Island. You only won it by 15 as well. But where Republicans did amazing in is in the governorship. This is where... This is around President Biden's need right now compared to Donald Trump. Seven points. This is about a seven point lead. No less. But look how much redder that is. Suffolk County, when these Eldons from went to him by 17 points. Donald Trump barely won it. Remember that. Nassau County, Donald Trump lost it by 10. These Zeldin won it by 10. That's a 20 point shift there. Let's see if we can zoom in here. Queens, that is it. And Queens, Lee Zeldin broke almost 40%. He got 36.6, Trump had 27. So they, Trump, Lee Zeldin did 10 points better than Trump. Looking at Brooklyn, Kathy Ogle got 71. Lee Zeldin got 29 about Brooklyn. What, seven points better? On each side, so 14 total. Deep Boom Manhattan, 82 to 17. Not much margin there, but definitely helps him. And in the Bronx, these of them had 22%. Donald Trump, 16. So there was way more support for these Zeldin than there was for Donald Trump just two years later. And this is, the presidential election margin was 2 million. Here, 377,000 votes. 
That is a net gain of 1.6, 1.65 million votes. That is a very concerning number for Democrats. And this, this wasn't even a red wave year. Republicans barely won the House. Democrats won the Senate. They retained the Senate. This wasn't a red wave. It was the almost the complete opposite. If anything, Democrats did better than Republicans did. That was mainly because of the abortion issue. And the abortion issue barely played a role in New York, as it looks like. If Will Wade didn't get overturned, New York could have been <laughs> possibly, the Zelding could be possibly governor. If they if they didn't overturn Will v. Wade before the election, but even outside of New York City, counties like Westchester, these held in vote for almost forty percent. Donald Trump got into the low thirties. Buffalo fifty six to forty one, fifty two point nine to forty six point nine. That's a six point margin. He only lost it by 20,000 votes. Donald Trump lost it by almost seven, lost it by 70. And we could just see along this corridor near Albany, almost all bad. This was a state, Dutchess County, which is right here. This went to Biden safely by 17 points. By 10 points. Lee Zeldin won it. And just red counties everywhere. And it's, it can be very interesting to see if Donald Trump is going to get these types of margins. As that, this is what the poll is indicating. And this is not the only poll that's indicating by a plus seven. There's multiple. There's multiple polls that showing. Biden at 48, Trump 41. Robert F. Kennedy is pulling at 6%. Cornell West is at 11%. Undecided is 11%. That's with him on the ballot. So that's, that's an even small margin of 6%. It was at 7 without him on the ballot. So that means he's pulling a more from away from President Biden. And that is just showing how much people in the state of New York aren't approving of President Biden's job. And if and the key indicator is what are these undecided voters? Are they true independents or are they true independents that mean Democrat or Republican? And This is what's interesting. Guilty poll. Only 20% of New Yorkers believe that Donald Trump is guilty on all counts. 29% say he's not guilty on all counts. And 40%, 44% say he's guilty on some. But even Democrats that are voting for Biden are showing that they know that Donald Trump is not guilty of all 34 felony counts. 71% say they would find Trump guilty. 71% say he would find them not guilty. And you guys could on, read this poll. This um, this is uh, DDHQ, The Hill. And I uh, just clicked on the Emerson poll that we've been looking at in this video. And it's just very interesting. It's going to see what happens. And that's about it for this video. So I thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Comment down below on what other videos you'd like to see next. And comment down below on if you think Trump has a chance. Or if New York's going to come in deep blue. Which it more than likely doesn't look like it will. And I'll see you guys in the next video.